here. Hi, my name is Chai. We'll be going through a 30 minute yoga flow here at Family Health Fitness. Thank you so much for joining me. So for class today, we will need two blocks or two block-like objects of similar heights. If you don't have any yoga blocks at home, I encourage you to either get some, or you can also use um, height glasses, um, cans, anything of same height would be great. So let's get started in child's pose. Allow the feet to touch, allow the knees to be wider than your over cage. Crawl your hands forward and sink your hips down. And when you arrive in your space this morning, this afternoon, today, take a mental check in. Taking a deep breath in. Releasing it all out. And as you arrive here, make no judgments, just observations of where things are at this morning, this afternoon, today. Now let's crawl our fingertips over to the right. Feel the left side body open up. You may feel that your left hip is lifting just a little bit. Continue driving that directional sit down towards your feet. Now let's crawl our hands all the way over to the left this time. This time we'll feel that right side body even relax. Feel those hips sit down towards your feet. Forward. Allow yourself to relax as you twist. 
And as your body fades a little more, call your right fingertips all the way to the left top corner of the mat. Feel your side body unwind more open. Breathe in here. Exhale all that breath out. Beautiful. And allow ourselves to settle here into our third twist. 
Feel yourself sink heavy into your right knee. Reach your fingertips more forward and back. Take a deep breath in here. And on the exhale, allow that left hand to come down to the ground. Reach your right hand all the way up, come into a beautiful twist. Hug everything into the center line. Let's not jump our weight into the left hand either. Reach your right hand up. Elevate. Awesome. Cycle the right hand to the back of the room. Down to the ground. Let's bring that front foot. And you can bring your block like object to frame your right foot. Slide your hips back. Come into Ardha Hanuman. Plug your right hip into the hip socket. Feel that left hip shift forward. Take a deep breath in here. And then fold yourself down. Find your surrender. Awesome. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, reach up. Half and left. Exhale, fold it on down. One more time. Inhale, reach your heart forward and up. Half and left. Exhale, fold and melt it over your leg. Inhale, lunge back, forward here. Beautiful. 
Tuck your back toes behind to set that right knee up. Inhale, sweep both arms up to the sky. Get in, reach high lunge. Allow the back heel to come down, come into your warrior one. Ensure that we are in the correct warrior one. Heel to heel alignment. Front toes facing all the way forward. Back toes facing at an angle about two o'clock. Sealing the razor edge of your right foot down. Reach your arms up higher, take a deep breath in. And on the exhale, cactus your arms, pump the chest up, cycle the arms down to the ground, step your foot back, downward facing dog knee. Inhale, rise up to your tippy toes, bend your knees, take lots of steps forward here, and into the forward fold. Now widen the stance where feet were coming into rise out to begin with. The feet hip width apart, knees nice and bent, grabbing opposite elbows. Allowing yourself to sway side to side. Maybe now your head yes. Maybe shaking your head no. Noticing where you're at this morning. This afternoon. Today. Maybe allowing a little more to give. On each leg, bending into one leg more. And alternating. Allowing the gravity to track your neck. Now let's let go of the elbows. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands come to the shins or upper thighs. Reach those shoulder blades drop. Exhale, cut the back of our legs, our calves, our ankles. Give ourselves a close in. Inhale, halfway lift again. Hands come to the shins and the upper thighs. Exhale, cut the back of our legs. Give ourselves some close in. One more time with the inhale. This time we're going to stay put. Draw that belly button into the spine here. Feel yourself lift up halfway. Bring the hands by the hips. Thumbs pointing away. Airplane those arms. Feel your shoulder blades and spatulas plugging against your spine. Take a deep breath in. Deep exhale. On the next big inhale, reach those arms up. Lift yourself up all the way to the top. Kiss the hands above you. Exhale all the way down. Forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hand your hands. Step the right foot back. Drop the right knee down. Uncover your nose. Inhale, sweep your arms into the sky. Big reach. Exhale, cactus your arms. Pump the chest up. Cycle the hands down. Step it back. Downward. Face the knee down. Inhale, pulse yourself forward. Plank pose. Shift yourself forward. Lower halfway. Feel those elbows raise into your ribs. Feel that core belly scoop up. Flip your feet here. Lift yourself up. Upward facing, making sure only the hands and the tops of the feet are touching, the thighs are not on the ground. Exhale, slide back. Downward facing dog. Step the right foot forward to the right thumb. Drop the left knee down to the ground. Inhale, sweep your arms up to the sky. They reach. Exhale, cactus your arms from the chest up. Cycle it all the way down. Step the left foot forward to meet the right. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hold it on down. Inhale, roll up one vertebrae at a time. Head in the last one, come up. Reach your arms up to the sky, big. Squeeze your legs, you feel your reach super tall. Exhale, all the way down, forward lift. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step the left foot back, drop the left knee down, uncut your toes, inhale, sweep it all the way back up, onto the yasana. Exhale, practice your hands, pump the chest up, cycle the arms down to the ground, step the right foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale, pulse yourself forward, plank pose, take a deep breath, in here, shift forward, launch off to your toe tips, lower half arm. Feel those elbows raise in, feel everything coming to the center line. Now let's flip your feet upward facing. Take a deep breath. Exhale, slide back. Downward facing dog. Step the left foot over towards your left thumb. Drop the back knee down. Inhale, reach the hands up to the sky onto the asana. Exhale, practice your arms and pump the chest up. Side work all the way down. Now step your right foot forward to meet the left. Forward forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold it on down. Inhale, roll up one vertebrae at a time. Reach your arms up to the sky, big reach. Exhale, all the way down, perfect fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Now both feet step back. Top low plank here. Feel yourself lift. Push away from the ground. Take a deep breath in here. Launch off to our toe tips, lower halfway. 
in to upward facing. Reach up heart here. Exhale, side back. Downward facing dog. Let's take three breaths together here. Now, noticing where things are at. 
Step it back, high lunge. Exhale, bring those fingertips down. Step it back, downward facing dog. All right, so let's take that to the other side. Great job, that was a lot of hard balance work. Inhale, reach that left leg all the way up. Nice. Make sure we're keeping your heart hips square, flexing our left hip, allowing that left inner thigh to spin on the chest a little bit. Now bend into the left knee, peel that left hip open. Allow that to yawn nice and open to over. And making sure our shoulders, our arms are continuing to be square. Draw the left knee in towards the belly button, rotate it out to the side. Beautiful. Now let's draw it forward and towards the left elbow. Inhale, reach it up. Draw it towards the right elbow. We'll tap it. And reach it back. Inhale, draw it forward. Almost there. Step it forward towards your left thumb. Making sure your arms are on the same page back. Gaze looks forward. Inhale, reach it up. High lunge. Okay, we make sure we strengthen our back, supporting like even more. Take a deep breath in. And on the exhale, make sure right hand forward, left hand back, open arm twist. Ooh, excuse me. Take a deep inhale. And on the exhale, empty the right hand down to the ground. Make sure left hand up higher. And you let strengthen your right leg behind you. Firm everything up. Now the tendency is to splay out leftwards. Draw it into the center line. Beautiful. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Now let's cycle the left hand to the back of the room, down to the ground, crawl the fingertips over to the right side here. Make sure the toes are pointing in the same direction. Crawl our fingertips forward, come into a downward dog. This, in this wide-legged downward dog, reach your hips up high. Awesome, take deep breath in, deep breath out. Now making sure the toes are pointed forward, in the same direction, sealing the edges of the feet down. Bend into the right knee here. And release. Bend into the left knee here. And release. One more time on both sides. Bend into the right. And bend into the left. Beautiful. Now let's relax everything out. Crawl your hands underneath your shoulders, halfway lift. Crawl yourself back forward here. Come into your Runner's lunge, drop the back heel down here, landing yourself in warrior one, reach your fingertips on high, warrior one. In your warrior one, take a deep breath in here, release it out. Take one more breath. And the exhale, allow yourself to open, warrior two. Then angle your left foot over a little more, so that the front heel aligns with the arch of the back foot. Reach your fingertips more forward and back. Flip your front palm, inhale, reverse. Peaceful warrior. Exhale, side angle, bring your left forearm, slide it down with your left thigh. Reach your right hand down to the ground and forward and up. Side angle, beautiful. Take a deep breath in. Then the exhale cycle, the right hand to the back of the room, down to the ground. Pick up your right heel. Walk yourself one step forward. Come into your standing foot. Can we fold ourselves even more? Can we reach your right leg right, up even higher? Take a deep breath in. Then let's draw that right knee in towards our belly. Feel everything bracing. Allow the left knee to be buoyant as we fold down a little bit. Let's curl ourselves up. Ooh, this is a hard one. Utisa, <laughs> I reach your arms up high. Now let's adjust our um, right foot, whether it's on um, the calf or a little higher, wherever we are, find the tree that works for us. And let's bring our palms together in front of our hearts. Take a deep breath in here. Then we we'll sit out. Slide over. <sighs> Draw the right knee forward. Kick it straight. One more pop. Step back, high lunge. Exhale, bring those fingertips down. Step it back, downward, facing up. Let's take one connecting vinyasa to regroup. Inhale, pulse yourself forward. Exhale, launch off your toe tips, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing, reach up, heart clear. Exhale, slide back, downward, facing up. Beautiful, that one's so challenging. Really great job. 
down, and let's start to walk this down. Allow our knees to come down, swing them forward, lay on down onto our backs, and lower all the way down. Beautiful. Cross your right ankle over the left thigh, come into figure four on our backs, draw the left thigh towards you. And for my friends who are craving a little more, you can come and wrap around the shin to create a little more pull. Feeling the hips release towards the ground as we slow our breaths.
practice, dedicate this time for ourselves. It is never easy, but the hardest part is showing up. Now let's drop our thumb knuckles to third eye center right between our brows. Thank you so much for trusting me with your time. Go forth and be safe. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe.